everyone welcome back to another theka kwansa this is going to be a fluff and comedy theka kwansa i hope you will love it why are you so late his booming voice was audible even the canteen at the wash corner of the office while the whole staff fell back for his secretary came to him a lamb to be in front of the angry double bunny but less did they know that thing was not less than a tiger if jungkook jung jungkook was a double bunny no need to yell at me mr jian i didn't get late for my personal reason thing was not even a bit scared before him the reason thing was still working under mr jian since two years since their first meeting was not so good and they were more like in me than boss and secretary they still there is working here because he need money and jungle can't stop him from working here because jungle's grandma loves them a lot oh really mr kim then please let an ignorant like me jungle ask with mocking sweetness i was asked by your fake boyfriend to fetch him a shopping mall early this morning just a minute fake it was just between jungle and hanji so that jungle was not rushed to get married by his family but how do they hang know about this how what is nonsense are you saying mr kim He is my real boyfriend, Jungkook frowned. Don't pretend before me, Mr. Jian. Thanks, said more like mocked. How did you know? Jungkook's tone was cold and warning. Oh, the whole Korean knows that the through that video, even Grandma knows about it. Oh, silly thing! He stopped abruptly, trying to be smart. He took. Grandma's name. Video. Grandma. Jungkook stood up with a start, now banging his hand on the dark colored tab- table. Blurted out. Jungkook put enough weight to each word. Um, Mr. Han and his real boyfriend's video, in which he confessed about your deal. Your family site. Drain. How did Grandma get that video? Jungkook had his doubt and glaring at them through WhatsApp. It was sharing shared on the group. Oh no! Another slip of tongue in order to be smart. Be careful, Mr. Kim. Them they thought to himself while mind slapping his head. WhatsApp group to spy on me. Jungkook had a evil smile as he took. steps towards them who shared that video mr kim his tone was dangerously calm and they hung knew that he couldn't be saved now um, um mr jian why are you wasting your time we need to manage such a big empire excuse me then made a lame excuse to escape taking a step back only to be clenched close by the angry bunny and electrical child charge through them at the touch making their heart beat rapidly you are not excused tell me chaka ignored his body rakes and as he kept his hand on thang's petted cloth clothed waist trying to hold them close while they had a hand on the his ceo boss clo- black suit clad chest struggling to be free giving all wrong idea to jungkook's younger sister hani when she suddenly burst in the cabin witness the oh so romantic scene she she secretly took a picture of this beautiful couple and make a sound to bring them back to earth from their intense eye contact came so that came later she asked while they both digit gaining her at her that night were 
a cozy picture of the cook in arm of each other got pro- broadcasted on whatsapp group today honey the cook's picture of early today at office honey something is cooking up jimin thanks friend oh jin jung cooks young keep a tab on them Youngie waiting for the next update. Jungkook was in bad mood today. First, that Mr. Lee was troubling him, making him change the contract every next hour, and then his secretary, ah, uh, ah, uh, good for nothing secretary, Mr. Kim is busy in scribbling something in his diary. What important work are you busy in, Mr. Kim? Jungkook made the young jump with shock. As Thang looked at him, hiding his diary behind with an innocent expression on his face, Mr. Kim might be plotting something against me. Jungkook knew it. In fact, he was sure that the video of his fake boyfriend Hanji was shared in the WhatsApp group by this not so innocent pair, and then forwarded to his family. No, then. The family hadn't confronted Jungkook this yet, but only the CEO knew how his secretary was bearing their weird glances. Now and then, Mr. Jian, you scared me. Thang tried to change the topic with a mock giggle. Give me that diary. Jungkook forwarded his hand. Huh? Which diary? Thang was make a confused, innocent face. This one, Jungkook took two steps, almost hugging Thang in a jiffy. Jiffy snatched the diary from Thang's and again ignoring the tension when Thang's soft chest pressed against Jungkook's hard one. Mr. Jian, Thang tried to protest, but Jungkook was careful, needs not letting him reach himself. How mannerless you could be, Mr. Jian. Branching my privacy for this day, they had sent you to the study in abroad. Jungkook just glared his secretary for the drama Mr. Kim was pulling, telling about talking about privacy. What about my you poking your nose in my matters? Jungkook mumbled, moving his page quickly, trying to go to the last page. But meanwhile, something interesting catches his attention. Seven qualities I need in my life partner, Kim Thang. Get back to me, Mr. Jian. Thang tried, tiptoed, tried to snatch his diary, but of course he can't take it. Jungkook is way taller than Thang. One, handsome. Jungkook knew he was a Greek god. Of course, two, modern at wealthy. Wouldn't a ten. A rich owner of Jian industry fit in. Three, loving. As in bed, he was too good in that department. Or general love, paper, romance uh, that doesn't exist in real life. Real world for Jungkook, no. For kind. What does that mean? Jungkook doesn't know this world. Five, emotional and understanding. Expect being angry, Jungkook didn't know of any other emotion, but of course, they, they hung for they hung. he was ready to learn everything. Loyal. Giants are not much, much known for loyalty, but Jungkook would never compromise with his husband. Number 7 Best Friend Best enemy is even better than best friends. Done. Now get back to me, Mr. Jian. Thang took back his diary. Now embarrass the young Mr. Jian knew about it. This is a bullish silly Jungkook declared, hiding the fact that Jungkook had cross checked every item to himself. Hmm. 
and then ask you Mr. Jian. The secretary silenced his boss and now able to take the insult anymore. The great Jian Jungkook took the diary, ripped the same page away and marched out of the cabin. Ah, how mean you jungle cook, mean arrogant pabo. You, you thing was hitting, crushing at the at his CEO boss, but Jungkook was just smart, silently pocketing the page and entering the conference room. Today, Jimin photo of Thay Hung's diary page. Mr. Jian Thay Hung was busy in discussing the idle qualities of her husband just 15 minutes before the meeting with Mr. Lee Namjoon clapping. Honey, even in the conference room, Oppa had more interest in what Lee was talking to Thay Hung. Jin, that Lee was flirting with Thay Hung, he does the same with Namjoon. Yungi, we'll deal with Lee later. Jin Hung, concentrate on your younger brother for now, Hobi. Thumbs up. May I come in, Mr. Jian? Thang asked. You are already in, Mr. Kim. Thay just smiled sleeplessly, keeping his coffee mug on the table. Fix a table for two tomorrow night in Hotel Love Light. Night, Jungkook said. Why? Thang questioned. Uh, that Jungkook was trying to tell Thang. After all, this drama was for his family only and Thang is good source to separate the news. It's a date with Hanjin. Jungkook had to fix his image. Since last month, Jungkook was feeling that his family and friends were planning something and Jungkook didn't want a surprise marriage at all. Faked it. Thang scratched his eyes. No, it's real one. Jungkook thought he could fool him. Hmm. Thang just sounds. Note the hotel address and send it to Hanjin. Write it. Jungkook said, looking at Thang. I already knew it. Thang said, with looking at his boss. I'll address her. Jungkook was a bit surprised. Why should I tell you? Thang made a face to Jungkook, going to leave the cabin, but Jungkook grabbed his hand, making Thang gasp, and Thang fell on his boss, wasted the five minutes in again, I can't a game, after quick, sorry, they were normal, tell me now, Jungkook asked, holding Thang by his both arms, Mr. John, leave me. Thang tried to pull his arm out of the hold. I wouldn't leave you until you tell me. Jungkook argued. Mr. Lee had asked me for a dinner date in the same hotel tomorrow. Thang had to confess simply. Looking at Jungkook, was already burning with anger and jealousy. Oh, date with that bash. Jungkook left Thang's arm, getting his perfect, greeting his perfect teeth. But next minute, Jungkook was cool. Go on, I'm happy for you, Mr. Kim. Jungkook said with a smirk while Thang frowned. Till yesterday, this jungle cook was angry on Thang for being friendly with Mr. Lee. Whatever Thang said and walked out. Yesterday, Jin and Mr. Han Jin. Added Mr. Hanjin. Yongi, welcome to Miss Han Jungkook's wedding. Mr. Han, Mr. Han. Hobi, any development? Mr. Han, Mr. Han. Mr. Jian has asked me to be in hotel lovers night tomorrow, but now he has cancelled our date. Namjoon. Mm. Honey, Oppa has asked me to attend a meeting with Mr. Lee discussing some clauses 
tomorrow night today jimin thank told me that ali is taking him to a dinner day dinner tonight hobi so that is the plan jin kuki has told me that he will be with mr han tonight han everyone mr kim sit in the car i am going to the same hotel where you have the date jungkook had changed in casual looking devilishly handsome in blue shirt and white denim no need no need mr jian you should pick mr han and anyways mr lee is going to pick me up them denied jungkook clenched his jaw as he sat him in red lash dress with a milky white back peeking peeping from the back lash dress looking so innocent beautiful hot and ravish ravishing what are you out of your mind jungko question himself over the adjective adjectives of course out of mind otherwise why he would be poking in thean's love life mr jian you must be getting late it was already half past 7 being too late from for them in office no no problem you can you are coming with me jungko spoke in non nonsense tones and then was dragged in with his boss in passenger seat of the black sparking suv which ran on the busy street of korea towards a very new journey after 2 hours mr lee isn't here yet so they call and check on him then as as he took the last bite of the dessert while jungkook was busy in wearing his lab don't bring that lee in between let's talk about something else jungkook mumbled as he kept a hand on thanks and making him jump mr jian what a are you all right uh, why are you looking me like that thing was blessing as he tried to pull his hand away from the ceo boss grip because you are looking pretty today jungkook kissed thanks finger making his eyes go dark You are also looking so handsome, just like my favorite BTS, Jung Jungkook. Although Jungkook said Ahn Thang is trying to bring the third person in their romance, but he just ignored it. Let's dance. Jungkook asked for his hand. I I can't dance. Thanks, I told. I'll teach you. Jungkook said, but your touches make me my heart. Beat go faster. Thanks, said being red as beetroot. And mine isn't in control. Thanks, Jungkook pulled him close. Him back again. His secretary's slim figure as they moved slowly on the dunes. Why are you fooling Grandma about your boyfriend? Thanks asked what he wanted to since so long many days. Because my real boyfriend hasn't given me confirmation yet, Jungkook mumbled and Thang Seer make him shiver. Real boyfriend? Thang felt a dome in his chest. Why? Who is that silly boy to ignore you? Ignore you? Thang asked, more like looking sad than angry. Jungkook turned his face. Thang was looking into his eyes passionately, and Thang got the meaning of the his words. Mr. Jian, Thang was blushing hard. Say yes, Thang. Thang just blushed in return, and Jungko grabbed his cherry red lips, which Jungko was trying to have, tasting the dessert of the famous restaurant through his tongue. Yesterday, Jin cookies. Back home and grinning like a goof. Today, Jin, honey, you shouldn't be awake this late. Nam Jin, Jin is right, honey. Jimin and Jimin and why are you awake so late, Jin? Here, honey, 
Honey, come on, Namjoon Appa. I am not asking you, Arjun Appa, why you two are awake. Jimin, Honey, Hobi. Jin left the group. Jimin added Jin. Jungkook was humming some Seven Days of Week song as he signed the files, keeping it the side, making the clerk look at him with perfect expression. Go. Get out and send Thang in. Since last week, Jungkook has stopped at calling him Mr. Kim, and it was also a week when his angry boss was behaving so calm and sincere. Serenity after the that accidental death, the Jungkook sword hasn't changed for others after the wait of few minutes a blessing they have knocked his doors since you when you have started knocking my doors jungkook opened the door pulling his secretary or uh, to say his newly boyfriend close to his chest as jungkook said the door closed mr jian you have become seamless and protested as he found his ceo boys boss hand moving discreetly inside his shirt while Jungkook just smiled. I have ordered your favorite lunch for, from your favorite restaurant. Another date, is it? You hadn't told me even last week how do you know about my favorite things. The time he locked his hand around Jungkook's neck. Since two years they were working together, Thang still needed his answer for this. I may answer you if you give me my share for today, baby. Jungkook didn't give Thang a chance to retort as he grabbed Thang's lips for a moldering and passionate kiss and after turning it into a warm burning makeup tin and the leather boss chair they parted trying to control themselves them in Jungkook's lap. Food is waiting them mumbled as he rebuttoned back his shirt and me too. Thang blushed a bit more while Jungkook was buttoning his shirt and Thang hid his face in his hand. Don't blush, baby tiger. Jungkook spoke in a stiffy tone. He controlled near his control nearly on a break when Thang giggled running out of the cabin not before grabbing his lunchbox only to get collide with Jimin who was out outside the cabin maybe ear dropping everyone how was it i hope you will love it and if you are thinking about who nam john and yongi and hopi in this ff so let me tell you i forgot to mention it nam john is jane's husband and hobi is friend of jungkook while yongi is jimin's boyfriend and friend of jungkook and Thang both so i hope you will love the ff and whatever you feel about them a story tell me in the comment section see you tomorrow with another thank you one so till then take care safe and thanks a lot for your love and support bye bye bye